Oh, so spicy. Check this video. Hello, today I'm going to show you how we have created this video in Pixel Pros. So let's get started. For the first scene, I didn't use turntable because I wanted perfect shape of the pack, so I used tape for shooting. And for ingredient, I used blue screen because some of them they have green color, so it makes problem for you if you want to remove the green color. So let's jump to the software. Okay, in After Effects, you have to import all the footage and create composition. To remove the green color or blue color, you need a plugin. It's called Keylight. You should add Keylight. After that, pick the green or blue color. If you have noise on your footage, you can play with clip black or clip white. You have to add a mask. After that, you have to animate the mask hold the video. So now you have the pack and all the ingredients without background. You should composite them together and put them in the same composition. But you need to animate all of them one by one. You have to animate rotation, you have to animate a scale, you have to animate position. And also you can create a 3D scene to have a better view for that. So after all, you have to have something like this. For fire, I use spray with match. I don't recommend it because it's a little bit dangerous, but if you want to do it, be careful. You might burn your hands. So first, I used thread to hold the pepper, but as you can see, it doesn't work. Let me check it. Yeah, absolutely good. So I decided to use needle, but the problem is you have to do it upside down. But it doesn't have any problem because you can fix it in After Effects easily. So after you import your clip, you can press R and you can rotate your footage easily, 180 degrees. To remove the needle, we need a plugin. It's called CC Simple Wire Removal. It's at point A and B for the top and bottom. So after we apply that, you can play with blur radiant. So you can have smooth footage like this. And now we have potato into the water. So we should refill the tank. Oh, oh. Thank God that it wasn't big. As you can see, I put a black plane in front of my camera because I didn't want to have the reflection because if you don't put it, it's a glass, right? So you have a reflection of the camera and all the background into that glass. So you can create a plane and put it in front of your camera with a small shooter. For this scene, I want that potato roll straight, so I tried a lot. And I used overhead stand because I want the top view. So into After Effects, I didn't use masking. This time I use another method. It's called rotoscoping. 
so you should double click on your footage and apply a brush on your subject and press freeze and wait for the software to remove the background one by one. But as you can see, sometimes you have some problems, so you should stop that and edit some frames by yourself. And now you have to come to the Premiere Pro and put two footage on top of each other. The potato should be on top, but you need some masking in Premiere Pro. So at the end, you have something like this. For this scene, I wanted to roll all the scene. So you can replace the footage into After Effects by right-click right on the footage in Premiere Pro and replace it in the, in the After Effects composition. So I have to use a plugin in After Effects. It's called Transformer. And create your presets. After that, you have something like this. It takes a little bit of time, but the result is really beautiful. And at the end, in Premiere Pro, you have to animate the footage because you want it to be center, you want to be a little bit smaller, so you have to animate all the scale and rotation and position. I recorded a lot of chips with a green screen because I didn't want all of them to be like same look. So I got like eight pieces of them and remove the background and one by one. Remove the background and masking and animate the mask. you have to animate all of them together in Premiere Pro to have something like this. To complete this scene, I needed this angle for the camera. So it was a little bit hard because I did 100 squats. And after you were successful to get it, you have to animate all of them together again in Premiere Pro. For this scene, I used 3D model, I used tracking, I used uh, rotoscopy and a lot of things. So I should explain it in another tutorial. But totally, for my hand, I used rotoscopy and for my head, I tracked my head with like, you can do it with Mocha Pro, you can do it with After Effects, even Premiere Pro. You can do the tracking. After that, you need a 3D model of school in fire or anything that you want and you can replace it with that tracking. And also, as you can see, I hang the pack with the thread because I wanted to be in the same position as previous footage. So after that, you have to have something like this. For the last scene, I wanted holder because when the pack falls down, I needed something to hold it. 
and I used green screen so after that I can easily remove the background or also you can use the rotoscopy. So in the after effect I use rotoscopy to remove the background but also you have to care about all the frames because you should check it one by one because sometimes you have some fault in the after effect. You can animate all of them and add fire, add dust and anything that you want. Thank you for watching this video up to the very end. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. We have a lot of tutorial videos.